welcome everybody. This is Mr. Magnuson, and um, I prepared an uh, like an online video tutorial that you could watch just to become familiar with the benchmark, um, the online version of benchmark, uh, and how to access it. And this is going to be really important as Mr. Murphy and I are co-teaching and delivering the uh, the benchmark curriculum. Uh, through a distance learning format. So let's get started and I'm going to try to move through these slides pretty quick. So the, the main thing is and you can access this is to understand about Clever and you can access this through my webpage or Mr. Murphy's webpage. You just click on the icon and it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. Um, you just click here and then you just have to make sure it says Minneapolis Public Schools. Uh, now, what if you go to Clever and this screen pops up? Um, I'm not exactly sure why this sometimes happens, but you would then need to do a search for your school. <clears throat> this is if it doesn't say Minneapolis Public Schools at the top. Just search for your school, um, type it in there, and uh, if I typed Lake Harriet, it pops up either lower or upper campus. I would just circle that upper campus. and once you then successfully log in, you're going to see something that looks like this. This, um, it, it'll be different for students that don't have me as their primary teacher, um, but your teacher pages that use Clever will appear at the top. So if you click on my page, it takes you here, and then this is where I've organized all of like the common websites and applications that I'm going to be using quite frequently uh, for the remainder of the year. So you can access all of these here. So our focus in this presentation is really going into benchmark, um, benchmark uh, curriculum. So then you're going to click on the benchmark icon. When you do, it will take you to your dashboard. So this is what your student dashboard looks like. It'll have your name here. And it's made up of the library, reading logs, um, assignments in an inbox. And I don't know if we're going to be using much with communicating through Benchmark because we're going to, we have a plan to do that through Google Classroom. So um, let's just go to the library to begin. And when you go to the library, it's it has a default page. A default just means like they don't know what grade you're in, what programs. Um, you're using so they kind of give you just everything and it's a little daunting at first so the whole point is to try to make your library your own and to make it unique to you so it only shows the information you need to see so I'm just gonna explain that really quick you just kind of want to clean this up a little bit so it's time to make our library our own so we're gonna start by switching from ebooks we're gonna go instead uh, we're gonna select the curriculum that we're going to be using and that's the benchmark advance copyright 2018 you're going to select that when you do it's going to ask you to, to click on your grade so you're going to do um, grade 5 and then once you've clicked grade 5 it's now uh, it's filtered out all that information and it's only pre presenting now on your library all of the units for fifth grade right here uh, the next step we want to do is we want to choose the unit. So Mr. Murphy and I were talking about starting on um, unit four, but not from the beginning, just basically where we left off, which was like the tail end of unit four, and then leading into technology's impact next. Um, so if you click on that uh, unit four, it, it filters it out even more. So now it's just showing the ebook. I can scroll down there some some other things, but this is the most important thing. This is your booklet, but it's in an ebook form. And I'm going to do a separate tutorial um, on how to navigate the ebook uh, format. This basically is as if you, you know if you click on it, it will open up and show you the ebook, and you can write on it. Um, you can highlight. You can turn the pages. Um, and many of the students know I've modeled that in the classroom but we just didn't use the virtual feature as much as just passing out the booklets and just doing it uh, old school all right moving on um, 
Now, I want to just for a moment take out unit four and just X this out because what I want to do is transition into how do we look at the ebooks? There's an entire ebook library for the for all fifth grade units. Now, if I don't click this X, it's just going to, if I were able to scroll down, it would just show me the ebooks just for unit four. And I don't want that. I want to look at the ebooks for the entire fifth grade library. So if I get rid of that uh, unit four, now it takes me back to this page. I can scroll down and I go to the bottom of the page and it'll say leveled texts. And it it's going to have 88 ebooks. So these are the ebooks for all 10 units of benchmark. And then if you go down even further, uh, you'll uh, be able to scroll down and see that the, the readers theater ebooks are there. And I just want to mention that um, if we do anything with creating podcasts from home, though uh, the readers theaters, uh, readers theater ebooks will make excellent uh, podcast ideas. So oh, just a quick aside here, if you are doing podcasting and you are familiar with GarageBand, you can go into the loops. When you pull up GarageBand, it'll just be a, a pretty much a blank slate, but you go to this little loop feature over here and they have sound effects. So you could totally perform a Reader's Theater uh, podcast and then include all kinds of... Um, you know, you could have all kinds of sound effects in your, you know, I can just, it would just be uh, really fun, I think, to develop a podcast and then select the sound effects that you want going on in the background while you're telling the story. And there's nonfiction and fiction stories. So just keep that in mind if you are um, considering developing podcasts. Okay, uh, back to the top. Uh, we're gonna move on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the menu. And if I click on the menu, it will open up and it'll show, a, you know, this is basically how we navigate throughout the benchmark. So I've got my dashboard, library, inbox. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna actually go to the assignments. And uh, if I click on that, it will take me to an assignment page and I just want to briefly explain what's on this page. So this is your assignment tally. It'll, if I've, if Mr. Murphy and I have assigned assignments, um, it will say how many have not been started, how many are, are in progress and how many are completed. Uh, this explains the assignment. I'm probably going to go in and change this uh, back to um, the author's point of view. I, um, I have it set up right now to start at unit five, but it sounds like we're gonna go back and do some things with unit four. And then it just has the due date, and this will change too. Okay, so I can go back to my menu. I'm gonna go to the dashboard. I'm gonna go now to something called the reading log, and Mr. Murphy and I are gonna be talking about um, how we're gonna incorporate this. And I'm gonna ask that we transition, since we're doing distance learning, to the utilizing the reading log format within Benchmark. So this part of the video explains how, um, what the features are and how it works, okay? S to start, it'll keep track of, out of those 88 books in the ebook library, um, how many books you've completed. So let's just, for example, say, I assigned chemistry and medicine um, as a, as one of the books for the students to read. And if you wanted to complete, uh, to read it, you would click on it, read the book, and then at the end, you write a review, and that is how it communicates to Mr. Murphy and I that you've read the book. So if we go into writing an ebook review, uh, you're gonna start by rating the book. So you have a five-star rating. Let's say it was, you know, it's pretty good. Maybe not the, the best book you've ever read, so you're, but it was really well written, so you're gonna give it a four. Um, let's hypothetically say you're gonna give it a four. And then we're gonna write our review here. So you might say something like, I read the book about chemistry and medicine. I learned what chemistry means and then how and so, so on and so forth. Um, and then you would submit it and then it just takes you then back to 
your reading log home screen. Okay, we're gonna go back to the menu and we're gonna head to our dashboard. So we're gonna go back there and I just briefly wanna talk about, um, I, if you're like me, I like to have things a little more personalized uh, that I use on a regular basis. So this is where um, you can kinda personalize your dashboard a bit. So if you click there, um, it'll say profile image. Uh, you can change the background, profile settings, and so on. So if you go in, you can choose your own uh, profile image. You can select a background image that works for you, and then you can save it, and then you can go back. So questions, just email me any questions you have. Um, if I'm presenting this uh, through Google Meet, this would be a time to, to pause, and then uh, you could post any questions on the chat feature, and then Mr. Murphy and I can answer those. Uh, again, we're learning as we go right along with you on this, and so I thought making this video might be helpful just to establish kind of the curriculum and how we're going to access it in a distance learning format. Uh, be safe and be well, and uh, we will talk to you soon.